This is the final video for A-level proof and in this video we're going to look at uh, what we call geometric proofs or sometimes referred to as vector proofs. So we're going to go through two examples. You can see this is example 10 from your booklet and let's just have a little look at it. Okay, so the question asks e to pa1 equals qb prove that the ratio at to tq is 2 to 3 and the ratio pt to tb. Okay, so let's have a little look. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put, look at the things that we've been given and we're going to put some information on the diagram. So the first thing we were told is that op to pa is 3 to 1. So that means, okay, that O to P is three quarters and P to A is a quarter of whatever the length O to A is or whatever the vector O to A is. We're also told that O to Q equals Q to B. So O to Q equals Q to B. So therefore Q is the midpoint of O to B. Okay, and these two are both the same length. So O to Q and Q to B are the same length. Now, the key to these questions is often to find two different ways of getting from one node to another or one vertex to another. So we're going to set up the problem and I'm going to draw on the diagram as I'm going along. So the first thing we're going to do, okay, is I'm going to let O A be vector A and O B be vector B. Now in the exam, they will probably st state that for you and A and B will be bold. So don't panic about trying to make them bold or putting little tags over. They will not penalize you for that. So what we've got, I'll put it on the diagram. Okay, so O to A is vector A. And O to B is vector B. Okay, and we're asked to prove a ratio. So we're going to look at the first bit and it says A to T. Okay, so our key is try and f find two ways of getting from A to T either directly, one direct, and one indirect. Okay, so. Again, I'll keep referring back to the diagram. So let's start with A to T. Um, now, as you can see, A to T, I could go A to T is A to P plus P to T. So I'll just show you on the diagram that works. So that's A to P, P to T. Okay, so using the information that I've, I've got, okay, therefore A to T equals, well you can see that A to P is a quarter of A, but we're going the wrong way, so that's minus a quarter of the vector A. And then P to T. Now, if you look, you can see that P to T is some fraction of P to B. So I'm going to let, call that fraction K. Okay, so P to T is K lots of P to B. Now, the next line is I need to find to get from P to B. So again, I'm just going to highlight that. So P to B will be going this way and then this way. So what I've shown you in orange there. I'm going to just undo that. Okay. So P to B, A T equals a quarter of A plus K lots. Now P to B, you can see, it's going to be minus three quarters A plus B. 
So that's one route to get from A to T. So on this side, again, I'm going to go A to T, but this time I'm going to do it a different way. So A to T, again, you can see that A to T is some fraction of A to Q. Now, that fraction, I don't know what it is, and we will find out. I'm going to cause another variable. So, for instance, I'm going to call a letter. And we're not going to use K because I can use K for the other root. So I'm going to say it's M. So it's M lots of A to Q. Okay, A to Q. Now, again, if you look, A to Q, so A to T is M lots of A to Q. And to get from A to Q, that's minus a plus a half of b. Now, if you see, I'll just highlight them. I now have two roots to get from a to t. So I'm going to put those roots equal to each other. So therefore, minus a quarter of a plus k lots of minus three quarters of a plus b will equal m lots of minus a plus a half of b. Now, I'm then going to expand that. So then I can do something that should be quite familiar to you. So it's minus a quarter of a minus three quarters of k a plus k b equals minus a m actually i'm going to write it the other way around if you don't mind so minus uh, m a plus a half m b so i've just expanded it so that will make the next step quite easy we're going to compare the coefficients of a and b so let's have a little look at that. So if I compare the A's, so I'm going to compare the A's. Look, looking at anything in front of A, we get minus a quarter, minus three quarters of K equals minus M. Now, to make that easier, I'm going to multiply the whole thing by four. So this gives me negative one. What I've done is I've multiplied everything by four and then just rearranged it a little bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to compare the coefficients of b. So if I compare the coefficients of b, you can see I've got k on the left hand side and half m. Now, if I substitute that in to the simplified equation I've got from comparing the a's, okay, I end up with minus 5 over 2 m equals negative 1, and therefore m equals 2 fifths. Now, if you look back here, and I'll just highlight it here, yeah. We know that AT is M lots of AQ. So if I sub my value for M back into there, I'm going to get AT, A to T equals two fifths of A to Q. Therefore, A, the ratio of A to T and t to q will be two fifths to three fifths, which is a ratio two to three. Now, I can also, because the question also asked us to find the ratio of pt to tb. So that's what I want to do next. If I use my value for m, I use my value for m in this equation, k equals a half m. I get that k equals 
equals the fifth. And we know that um, PT equals K lots of PB. Okay, if you look up here, you can see P to T, see from here, P to T, some fraction of P to B. We know what that fraction is, it's a fifth, so P to T equals one fifth P to B. Therefore, P to T ratio is a fifth to four fifths, which is ratio of one to four. So the key to this question, OK, is to look at what we're asked and find two different ways often to get to the, this, this first vector, A, T. OK, now we're going to have to look at, a look at another one, which is a lot more straightforward. OK, so this is example 11. And again, this is in your notes. So we've got a, a triangle. Um, and you can see from the diagram. So again, we're given that OP the, um, to PA equals the ratio of OQ to QB. OK, so I'm just going to annotate the diagram. So this is telling me that this length is three quarters of O A, and this is a quarter of O A, and O Q again is three quarters of O B, and Q B is a quarter of O B. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, and again I'll put this on the diagram, and we usually start at the origin. So I'm going to have, and I'll just write over this one, that is A, and O to B is going to be B, and notice the direction that we're moving in. So I'm going to declare that now again, often in an exam, it will already have this up for you. So let O to A be the vector A, and O to B the vector B. Now again I'm not putting the tags on the lines. Usually in the exam these are bolded. Okay. So what do we need to prove? We need to prove that PQ is parallel to AB. Okay so let's start with P to Q. So P to Q equals well it's P to O plus O to Q. So let's look at the diagram and see how we can get from P to O. So P to O is three quarters of O to A, but we're going the wrong way. So P to Q will equal three quarters minus three quarters of A plus, and then O to Q will be three quarters of B. OK, so P to Q is minus three quarters of A plus three quarters of B. OK, now we need to prove that it's parallel to A to B, but A to B is A to O plus O to B. And A to O is minus A and O to B is B. Now, if you look at those two things, we've got A to B and we've got P to Q. Now, you need a, quite a rigorous argument or at least a decent statement. So look at P to Q. So P to Q can be written as three quarters of minus A plus B. Therefore, 
P to Q equals three quarters of A to B. Therefore, PQ is parallel to vector AB. And we have proved what we need to do. Now, there are another three exercises for you to have a go at. And we will give you solutions when you have a go at them. So hopefully this has been clear. Please make sure you fill in your booklets and hopefully this has helped.